G'day, KC here, and how are you doing? In today's video, we're going to look at the drive mechanism that actually drives the clock. Here's the finished clock. Just really zooming in. drive that feeds the pinion and that'll be the next part of this video. So this clock is driven with a stepper motor which then goes into the stepper motor driver and then the Arduino which can be programmed to either speed up or slow down to keep the time. So this is just a cover that was 3D printed. You can see it's still out of the natural color, so it's from the old original print, the test parts, I suppose, prototypes. Um, then moving in, you can see the stepper motor and that is the driver for the stepper motor which is on a plate that I made and underneath you can see the Arduino uh, which is sitting down in a box that I made and designed so let me take you through these items and in fact in later clocks you'll see I actually use the smaller Arduino Nano, this one's the Uno, so that the actual drive box is much smaller. So this is a stepper motor and um, these you'll find anywhere from 3D printers to, um, you know, air cons, you know, the fan or the vents that open and close to inside any sort of machine that needs to move anything. Um, they're quite cheap. Um, I think they're about $3, $3 on Amazon. And um, so if I zoom in there, um, you can see the 5 volt DC and um, but how do you do, how do you get them to work well what you need and actually when you buy them they come with this is a stepper motor driver 
So this is a stepper motor driver and um, what you'll see is it's got pins on this side for power. Let me turn that around. So it's 5 volt or 12 volt. And then it's got pins down the side here for um, the input. And then this white plug here is the um, plug that goes to the stepper motor. Then uh, this is the Arduino, and I suppose this is the the brains of 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 the clock. Um, you do get a smaller one. Um, I only found that out later. So this is the Uno. You get a Nano, but I'll cover that on other clocks, um, which is a smaller board, and. Um, Really, what what I've got here is I've got the outputs. So these four different um, cables are going to go to the stepper motor to drive that um, because of the four different wires. It's basically four different magnets that actually drive the stepper motor, how many steps it moves. And then you've got uh, the red and brown which is really the power. So um, you need to program this and I'm not going to get into that on this video. Um, I use a YouTuber called uh, DroneBot and um, Ro Robot Drone, Robot Drone I think it is. But if you just type in a search for um, stepper driver Arduino, he'll come up and he basically explains exactly what you need to do, plus the code to get it all to work. So, um, let me show you, uh, this is already programmed, so um, if you just take these wires exactly as they are, um, they fit into the in, so it's one, two, three, four ins. So let me pop those on there. Um, and then the power goes on those two pins over there. So there's a plus and a minus, um, as there is on the but we know there's five volts and ground, so the five volts is red, the ground is brown. So, again, uh, plus is red. Oh, push those pins on. So the red is, oh, the red is plus, the brown is ground. Um, and then simply from the stepper motor that plug just goes in you can see it can only go in one way so we just plug that in and it's really as easy as that um, once you've programmed it um, we have got the power source and this is just into a USB um, it can be into any sort of charger uh, mobile phone charger or whatever you, you have, whatever you've got but it's, all it is is a 5 volt power supply. So if I plug that in, it should initialize the Arduino. You can see all the lights are coming on. And you should be able to see that that is turning. And as I say, um, we're not using the Arduino to its full capacity because there's quite a lot of these little things can do, quite a few projects. Um, but all I'm using it is for the speed to control the speed of the step motor and um, if your clock runs fast you slow it down obviously <laughs> if it's running slow you just speed it up 
So it's, it's a very easy, useful way of um, controlling the time. And um, if you just keep adjusting it, eventually you'll get very accurate time using a uh, stepper motor in Arduino. So the next thing is to um, put all this on the back of a clock because there's quite a bit of kit here and how do we hide it on a clock? So uh, that'll be the next phase. Thank you all for watching and take care and God bless. Thanks again for watching and be sure to like and subscribe as it helps the channel to grow.